Now, let's look at one last thing here. <clears throat> solving a system of equations in three variables. So up until now, we've solved lots of systems of equations of two variables. Now we're going to look at solving a system of equations with three variables. Now, remember, if we're trying to solve for unknown variables, we need the same amount of equations as we have unknowns. So when we did systems of two equations, we had two unknowns, so we need two equations. Now we have three unknowns, so we need three equations. So to solve this, we can do our substitution or elimination. The very same ideas we do, did for systems of two variables, we can do for systems of three variables. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with this example, substitution. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two of the equations and from, or sorry, we're going to take one of the equations, I should have said, and we're going to take one of them and substitute it in to the other two equations. So I'm just going to label these equations as 1, 2, and 3. Now, it doesn't matter which equation I solve for, and it doesn't matter which variable I solve for when we're doing substitution. So you just pick one and you go with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation number 2, and I'm going to solve that for y. Why did I pick that? I don't know. I just look at, like it to when I look at it. So let's take that equation. Now, if we solve it for y, let's do this and try and do this in one step. y, let's go y, is going to equal. Now, if we move y to the other side and move 10 to the other side, our 2x doesn't change. So 2x plus 2z minus 10. Now, if you can't do that in one step, do that in two steps, that's fine. We want to try and get in the habit of trying to do that in one step. So what are we going to do? We're going to take this equation and we're going to substitute it into the other two. So let's take that equation and we're going to substitute it into two. So what we're doing is we're taking this and we're going to substitute into number one. And when we substitute into number one, here's what we get. We're going to get, now, the 4x, it doesn't change, plus, well, that y is now going to be replaced with 2x plus 2z. Oh, hold on one second. We have to make sure that we put the entire thing in. So we want to not put the bracket yet, because we still want to say 2x plus 2z minus 10. And that's going to equal, hold on, getting ahead of myself again. And this is what we have to be very careful about when you're solving systems of three variables, is any time we're going through, we want to be as slow as we can, because if we make a mistake, it's going to be hard to get, find that mistake after. So we're not equals yet. We still have that plus z. Now it's going to equal 5. So if I simplify this, I'm going to get 4x. We'll just get rid of those brackets. Plus 2x minus, sorry, it's plus, I mean, remember, as careful as possible, minus 2z minus 10 plus z is equal to 5. So when we combine like terms, we're going to get 6x plus 3z equals, and we're going to take the 10 and move it to the other side, and that's going to equal 15. So 6x minus 3z is going to equal 15. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute into the other equation. So we're going to, over here, we're going to sub into, now we took 2 and solved it. We subbed it into 1 before, so this time we need to substitute it in to 3. So when we substitute this into 3, here's what we're going to get x minus 2, 
Remember that y is going to be replaced with 2x plus 2z minus 10. Close the bracket because that was our y minus z. And I'm going to have to put my equal sign on the other side here. It's going to equal 2. So when we solve this, we're going to get 2 is equal to x minus 4x. We're just well, distributing that in. Minus 4z plus 20 minus z. And if you're having a tough time reading this, I'm having a tough time reading this too. We'll try and correct that for next time. I'll get better practice at this. So when we combine like terms, we're going to get 2 is equal to negative 3x minus 5z. Remember, we're just combining those x's and z's together. Plus 20. And if we bring the 20 to the other side, we're going to get negative 3x minus 5z is going to equal negative 18. And what I'm going to do is going to multiply the entire equation by negative 1 to get 3x plus 5z. And that's going to equal 18. So here's what we've done. We've taken this system of two, or sorry, of three variables, and we've created a system with x's and z's, and x's and what is this thing? Well, it actually is a z. X's and z's. So now we have a system of two equations and two unknowns, and now we can solve this. So if you have room on your paper, keep going. I'm going to have to start another sheet. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our two equations. And we're just going to now solve a system of two equations. So we have 6x plus 3z is going to equal 15. And we had 3x plus 5z is going to equal 18. Now, let's just double check to make sure we have the right ones. 3, uh, OK, we have the right equations. Excellent. So now we have a system of two variables, two unknowns. We can solve it however we like. And when I look here, I'm just going to do elimination. Because I can take this equation, multiply it by 2, and here's what we're going to get. 6x plus 3z is going to equal 15. And 6x plus 10z is going to equal 8. Oh, I know. We have to be careful here. Now, I was about to make this a very common mistake of taking that equation and not solving the entire equation by the value. It was 18 before. When we multiply it by 2, it now becomes 36. So what we do is we take this e these equations, and we either add or subtract them, depending on what it takes to eliminate that unknown, or eliminate the variable. And of course, we've done this at great length. So we're going to subtract. And when we subtract, we're going to get 6x minus 6x, which is 0, which is what we want. 3z minus 10z, which is negative 7z. And 15 minus 36, which is negative 21. And we get a z value of 3. Now, if we know z is equal to 3, we can take that and put it into one of these original equations. Doesn't matter which one. So let's put it in. Uh, let's put it in the first one. Why not? So when we put it into the first equation, we're going to get 6. Now that's x stays the same. That's what we're trying to solve for. 3 times 3 equals 15. 
So we're going to get 6x plus 9 equals 15. So we're going to get 6x is equal to 6. And that's going to tell us that x equals 1. Now, once we have x and z, we can go back to our original equations and take any of the three equations and plug in our values for x and our values for z to solve the equation. So I'm going to take the first one. <clears throat> so we're going to take the original equation was 4x plus y plus z is equal to 5. And so we know what x is. It's going to be 4 times 1 plus, we don't know what y is, but we do know what z is. So we're going to get y plus 7 is equal to 5. So we're going to find out that y is equal to negative 2. And our answer is 1, negative 2, and 3. <clears throat> now, if we took that solution and we plugged it into any of the three original equations, we would get a true statement. <clears throat>